New Delhi saw its highest precipitation in a single day in July in 40 years, as intense monsoon rains struck northern India. Kyushu Island in southwestern Japan was battered by torrential downpours, the heaviest the region has ever experienced, and which triggered landslides. And in the US, Vermont has been hit by its worst flooding in 12 years. There have been a series of bouts of extreme rainfall, as the planet saw its hottest week on record at the beginning of July, with the average global temperature peaking at 17.23 degrees Celsius. As the planet warms, uh, one of the things that changes in, in the atmosphere is how much water the atmosphere can hold. And so we have more water vapor. And that means that when it rains, when we get that water vapor condensing into clouds and then rain, uh, it can be uh, more intense. According to NASA, the average global temperature has increased by at least 1.1 degrees Celsius since 1880. For every one degree Celsius the atmosphere warms, it holds around 7% more moisture. What's happening now, the increases in temperature that we're seeing, the extreme rainfall that we're seeing, the heat waves that we're seeing, right? that's due to the underlying warming that we're seeing, plus a little bit of weather. Among the meteorological causes is El Nino. This natural climate phenomenon, which is cyclical, leads to increased global temperatures. This year, we have only just started to see its effects. Floods, heat waves and other extreme weather events could therefore multiply in the coming months.